Okay guys, uh, on our left again is our iPad Pro and the right we have iPad 6 generation. Welcome back to the channel of Minutes Matter and um, we are going to do a small uh, kind of a comparison between an iPad Pro 9.7 and an iPad uh, 6 generation uh, 9.7. Okay guys, uh, so whenever we went into the camera application on the right hand side is an iPad 6 generation. This is its predecessor, iPad Pro 9.7. Um, if you're comparing camera, you will see that the iPad Pro 9.7 actually has a better resolution. It's a wide angle lens compared to an iPad 6 generation, which means that even after two years, Apple didn't give a wide angle lens to the iPad 6 generation, which they could have easily done because this already had it. Now we'll go out of here and we'll check the sound quality on both of them. Okay, so at first uh, we'll be heading towards our predecessor iPad Pro 9.7 and we'll check out the quality on the audio because this has dual rocking speakers. Two years before it had dual rocking speakers. So let's go ahead and play some music on it. So you will see that the speakers are out here and uh, there are speakers on this side also. Okay guys, and now this is uh, iPad 6 generation. I've, as you can see, I put this volume to full. I'm gonna use some of my track music uh, from, my, uh, from my music editing software and a video editing software. So, mono speaker located out here at the back. You're literally in a noisy environment. You cannot hear it you just cannot hear it i'm just doing this because every time when we sit in a noisy environment you would not be able to listen anything on it so ipad pro 9.7 still is good okay guys and from the final test we are going to run some benchmark tests on both of these uh, on your right hand side is a ipad 6 generation and on your left hand side your side is an ipad pro 9.7 on it so let's go ahead and uh, uh, touch and we are going to use Antutu benchmark test uh, because Antutu is the rated as number one when it comes to benchmark comparison between devices across Android and it's a free software. So before we begin, we are going to see whether there is any background uh, software is running or not. So let's go ahead and then check whether any background software is running or not. So there's no background software is running right now and uh, we will go to Antutu and we'll start these again. Okay guys, so we'll begin the test and um, uh, so what Antutu does is that it runs a lot of graphics on it. So both of the iPads you'll be seeing that they are running graphics. If you note properly, you'll see that the iPad Pro actually is working way more faster. It uh, recognizes textures, layers way more faster than the iPad does. So I think on a graphics perspective, uh, iPad 6 generation doesn't do a better job than the iPad Pro 9.7. Uh, the glitches can be noticed if you can um, download the software onto to benchmark test and uh, check it out for yourself. Uh, but um, uh, let's see how the performance of uh, RAM and the processor does because Antutu also checks the RAM performance, the ROM performance and the processor's performance. Uh, so that's the reason um, I did the test because I wanted to know for myself that is Apple slowing down or not. Now on the second part of the test you will notice that it opens up a bunch of Chinese websites and stuff like that. Don't worry about it because it's uh, analyzing whether the cameras uh, QR codes run properly or not how fast it is okay and our benchmark tests are almost done but even though when we saw that uh, the iPad Pro was really doing very good watch this when everybody was saying that Apple didn't do a good job the iPad 6 generation has got better benchmark test than the iPad Pro 9.7 so always looks are very deceptive so even by looks you think that the ipad pro 9.7 is going to be better in performance it's not the truth the truth is that the newest sixth generation ipad actually is better in some sort of perspectives and uh, final countdown uh, we'll be comparing specs absolutely as i was saying that the rear camera on a 9.7 ipad pro is a 12 megapixel but the sixth generation is only 8 megapixel memory uh free and all will not go through that but you'll see that the memory on here is low but watch this 
The CPU model on uh, the iPad Pro is Apple A9X and Apple A10 Fusion. Apple A9X is a dual core processor clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and uh, A10X is a quad core processor with uh, 2.34 gigahertz of speed. That's what made the difference. Uh, on appearance specifications, they look the same. Weight, it's uh, slightly more heavier, the sixth generation, it's slightly more less. Um, if you compare resolution, the resolution remains the same on both of them. And, uh, and I was kind of wrong. Uh, actually, both of them shoots 1080p videos. Um, it's just the 12 megapixel and the 8 megapixel does a immensely good uh, kind of uh, 12 megapixel actually does a better job and because photography on this is an HDR and panorama mode that's the reason it takes better pictures compared to a regular iPad both of them were running on same OS's so both of them are at 11.4.1 and there you go guys uh, in front of you an honest benchmark test of uh, an iPad Pro 9.7 versus the iPad 6 generation.